last video cut out before I could quite finish recording. Um, but the point that we got to is we'd got the laser tuned um, and uh, we'd got the, so we'd, we'd move the spot to the very top of the cantilever and we got this number to be it should be a bit more than six really but I think this is fine um, so the sum is more than six and the vertical and horizontal are near zero and the way we do that after we've got it near the tip is we um, is we change we move these two turn these two knobs the one on the top towards the left so not on the inspection window on the one uh, window and on the one on the back um, so once we've done that uh, we move the uh, sample closer to the cantilever um, and it may be that actually it looks like it may be better to do that before um, before aligning the laser because uh, you may be able to get some reflection off the sample or if you maybe if you put something reflective down there it's easier because generally I can't see the spot which makes it a lot more difficult but if it's reflecting off the sample too that that helps you see where you are. Anyway, the um, AFM has this little switch on it which says down and up. By the way, something else I didn't mention is that there's a switch on the AFM and it should be in the AFM LFM position. Right? That's probably reasonably important to know. <laughs> um, but there's a, there's a switch here which says down and down and up. To me, it's completely non-intuitive. Um, down means move it towards the cantilever, so the stage is going up. And up means move it away from the cantilever, so the stage is going down. So it's the opposite of what I would expect, right? Um, but basically, when you set things up, you should have initially the stage down, so it's way away from the, from the, uh, the cantilever. It's kind of below, the, the sample is on the stage and it's below the the level of the cantilever and then you want to press up uh, to move it towards the cantilever and you want it to try and get it as near as possible because otherwise then the approach is going to take hours and hours to do because it's got to move it with very fine uh, precision near the cantilever so it ensures it doesn't crash right to engage it so I will use a uh, inspection loop like this um, and then just stick it near the substrate and cantilever um, so you can kind of see what's going on um, and then uh, get them as close as possible and after that we move on to the stuff that is, co is covered in uh, another video that I have um, but basically you're going to start up the uh, nanoscope 8 use the defaults um, and then you're going to engage uh, at real time status parameter list and shoot and you click engage oh no you don't want to do that actually no, no, you don't do that yet. First, you want to tune the cantilever. So you hit tune the cantilever. I have another video on this, so. Oh, yeah, you hit auto tune. Uh, and maybe I screwed this up, but basically, auto tune should complete successfully uh, and not give an error. If it gives an error, you screwed something up. If it doesn't say anything, you're good. And then you engage the tip. Makes this funky sound. And this can take quite a long time. Um, particularly on the first approach, it takes, I don't know, maybe upwards of 10 minutes, I guess. Uh, so if you really have the cantilever a long way from the, uh, the surface, it will take quite a long time. So you want to try and get it as, as close as possible, as I say. 
Um, yeah, this is like the first time I've got I've done imaging <laughs> with an AFM, so I'm no expert, but but yeah, these are my notes mostly for me actually. So if anyone else finds it useful, that's kind of a bonus. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I'll probably leave it there. Uh, like I say, there's another video on um, like actually the imaging. It's not too difficult kind of press buttons and it goes but fiddling with the parameters I found so that you get a decent image was was not so straightforward so okay 